What? Helming on your butt. Maxa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Meow. Meow. Yeah. Okay, no one wants to see that. Fellow stand-ups and laughter at the end of the world are sites on Facebook. I'm on the smoking comedy hour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a, uh, a condom on the ground, which I didn't think too much of. I just assumed that it fell out of somebody's pocket. It's either that or, that or a safe sex promoting Johnny Appleseed is making his way through downtown mall. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I go to lunch. Um, Lee and I usually go out for a walk at lunch, and. Um, when I went outside, the condom moved from the ground to the trash barrel, which was fine with me because I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> but then when I came back from lunch, the fucking condom was gone. Which to me means... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> was that a cat? Yeah. <laughs> I should have done the condom jokes with the cat. It's not the one I said. So I get back from lunch... You're welcome. <laughs> I get back from lunch, and the fucking condom's gone. Which means that somebody walked by a trash barrel and was like, Whoa! What do we have here? One man's trash is another man's treasure. If you're taking condoms out of the garbage, what are you leaving in the garbage, is my question. Like, Whoa, what's that? Is that a condom? Oh, is that a Sammy? Barely used. Is that a DVD? Never been kissed! I almost fucking touched that. <laughs> the groceries the other day. Woo. Woo. Grocery shopping. So I was putting the jelly in the fridge, but I had my first my finger over the first letter of the brand name of the jelly, and it was Trappist brand jelly. So when I looked down really quick, it, it, it looked like it said rapist jelly on it. And I was like, what kind of evening do you have? <laughs> you think that's funny? You should check out the third ingredient in peanut butter. So I went and looked, and I looked at it, and the third ingredient was something called rapeseed. <laughs> which to me means that there might be a rape plant, a rape field, and there might be a gentleman who works in a rape field, and when he goes on blind dates, says, yeah, I deal in rape. I have a field near my house where I do most of my rape work. <laughs> And if that same gentleman's having a hard time with a group of crows eating his rape seed, he would say something along the lines of, yes, I mostly deal in rape, but lately I've been having a hard time with a murder. Because a murder <laughs> is what you call a group of crows. Uh, rape seed is actually what they make canola oil out of, but some marketing exec decided that uh, rape oil probably wouldn't sell too well. <laughs>
So, I, why would you name a plant rape? Like, I was, like, how did this happen? I, was, I just thought long and hard about it, and I'm like, the only logical reason I could come up with is the distant relative of the guy who invented sexual assault, like, just <laughs> spent his whole career trying to find something so he could go, you see, this we, this is rape now, we could call that rape now, we don't need to think about that other thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, and then everyone at the time has been like, ah, we can have two things called rape, and it's like, shit, <laughs> life's work ruined, I should just did what my brother did. And keep my mother's name. No one would make fun of me if I was Mike Molester. <laughs> Just, I don't look almost as much like me as you look like me. It is. <laughs> where if I had the bus, well, you know, I have the little glasses and everything like that. And uh, people tell me, does people ever tell you you look like famous people? Does that bug you? Like, like every time someone tells me I look like somebody famous, I look at them and I go, are you talking to me? <laughs> 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 Could you see if he did a phone commercial? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You must be talking to me. There's nobody else around with me. Are you talking to me? I said, are you talking to me? I said, are you talking Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> what do we know about the word fuck? Have you heard about these different things? For unlawful cardinal knowledge, have you ever heard that one? Um, fornication under consent of the king. I just want, you know, I'm gay and everything, but I, I think it's more than that. I think I'm like polysexual. You know what I mean? Like I really want to fuck parrots. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that uh, this one is coming home with me. I wish, you know, finally I found an ass the size of my dick. Thank God. That's what I'm <laughs> and uh, later you can watch. But uh, <laughs> is this the most enchanting thing you ever saw in your life? This this beautiful wooden. Earth goddess with the incredibly square vagina. <laughs> it's, it's like, you're thinking maybe there's a little baby thing that goes in there or something. Don't you hate sex sometimes when it's like you're with somebody and you're doing it and you look up and they have that face like this? <laughs> like, what are you doing? It looks. Do you know what I'm talking about? They got that face like. <laughs>